Transformers Legacy of Evolution Detritus. It's not every day that we get the repaint first, but as of this recording, Buzzworthy Hound has yet to be released. But today, thanks to a lack of patience and a curiosity to see what he'll look like, we're taking matters into our own hands and turning Detritus into Hound. Welcome back to Hobbies with Jose, everybody. Good to have you back. Today we are tackling Transformers Legacy Detritus and hopefully turning them into a proper hound. And of course, the main reason why I'm doing this is I lack patience and I can no longer wait for Target to finally release the Buzzworthy Hound figure. Having Detritus available for a decent price definitely motivated that. And I think for the most part, this is gonna be just a standard repaint. We do of course have the traditional hollow sections like inside the arms, on the weapons, and of course inside the legs. We're going to be tackling these fixes with some traditional putty and sanding them down as smooth as we can. Also, the head is quite noticeably split into two sections with the front and back. Because the design of the head is pretty simplistic, I think I'll be able to fill in this gap with some putty and smooth it out nice and clean. And the last thing I plan on doing has to do with the Jeep, which I'm gonna talk more about that once we get to that section, right after we strip the paint. So with that said, let's get started. So we now have our figure disassembled and for the most part it was pretty painless. This was by far the trickiest piece with this pin absolutely refusing to budge. Thankfully I was able to stretch out one side to remove the sections in the middle and hopefully it will be just as smooth in the reassembly but we're just crossing one bridge at a time. Speaking of that middle section this piece actually surprised me. Looks like it's actually completely painted because I did get some paint chipping here in the bottom and by the looks of it I think it's another clear piece too just like with the shoulder mounted missile launcher. So I'll have to be extra careful when stripping the paint from these. But speaking of stripping the paint, let's move on to that. So we now have our pieces cleaned up and drying off 
Let's go ahead and talk about this piece a little bit. I had the good fortune of being contacted by a subscriber who told me they were designing a new front end for the Jeep, just to try and give it a more authentic look. And Jabora Mecca knocked it out of the park. That design they came up with looks great, so I'll definitely be linking that page down below. And let's go ahead and get it printed ourselves.
So first and foremost, a great big thank you to Jabora Mekin of Colts3D.com, who is a subscriber of the channel and was kind enough to let me know of their awesomely designed Jeep front end for detritus to give us a much better hound. This customization wouldn't be what it is without their help. So thank you so much. And of course, the link to their page is down below, which is a free download. So go check it out. I did make some minor tweaks to it to make it as thin as possible and to prevent the wench from sticking out beyond the bumper as well. But that seemingly simple piece makes such a huge difference for this build. Had a lot of fun with this build. Biggest challenge I would say are the plastic sections around the feet. They're made of that softer plastic that does not want to take the paint and so as soon as I transformed it a lot of it got shaved off. Now I do have that special primer that's made for that plastic but did I remember to use it? No, no, I should be more organized. Next time hopefully I should. Also, speaking of the transformation, I completely forgot to give him those yellow triangles on the side of the Jeep. And so I was kind of scrambling to decide how I was going to do that, if I was going to mask it to re-airbrush. But then I remembered, oh yeah, I have these awesome water slide decals I bought. These gorgeous yellow stars that come in various sizes. And the bigger ones have these amply sized triangles that I can use. So crisis averted. Now you may have noticed that extra tire I added to the back of the vehicle. It was a super last minute addition that I didn't even film, but I just downloaded a 3D model of a Jeep tire that closely resembled the existing ones and I just sanded off a little notch in the back and stuck it to the back of one of the knee sections. It is very much a half-ass solution but it gets the job done. Also it is quite a bit smaller than the actual tires on Hound but I'm willing to bet you didn't notice that on the final shots right? I'm hoping you didn't. It does do a really big difference to how the back of the Jeep looks though so I'm happy with that. I also gave the tires that brown panel liner instead of black just to give it that extra muddy look and I think the overall look works pretty good but overall I really couldn't be happier with the results and it's a little bit surreal to be holding what is essentially going to be Studio Series 86 Hound and without having to break into any factories to get one. But I do hope it gets released soon so other people can enjoy this awesome character. Hey, I want to thank you all for watching. It's very much appreciated. You can catch updates on all my projects in the social media links down below. And I'm also live on Twitch on weekends where I'm hoping to finish Yakuza Kiwami 2 pretty soon. And starting my next adventure, ooh, check out the green lights for a clue. And of course you can support the channel by heading over to the merch store. There's always some awesome stuff there. Or you can support for free simply by hitting that like and subscribe button or just leaving a comment down below too. That helps out a ton. But as for what's coming up next, I have a story about that. On one of the recent Hasbro pulses, I did say on the Discord that if they finally showed us Studio Series 86 Swoop, I would work on another Dynamo probably f Oh, excuse me, I mean Slug. But unfortunately, as we all know, it didn't happen. And so I'll be doing something else instead. I'm thinking more than likely I'll put up a poll in all the social medias and putting the vote up to you. Oh God, no. What's going on? No, 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 it can't be, it can't be.